Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna get a little personal in depth as to why I do the things I do and what. Yeah, a lot of people always ask me what tattoos I have, how many I have, what do they mean? So today I thought I would do a tattoo tour. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into today's video. I have 13 tattoos total. <gasps> So this is the first tattoo that I have. It is a clothespin. I got it on Friday the 13th because it was like on the stencils where you can pick what you wanted. And I was like, oh, this is actually kind of cute. That one has zero meaning <laughs> at all. I just thought it was really, really cute. I love the placement of it. Probably my favorite place tattoo, I'm not gonna lie. Hurt really bad. My second tattoo is things change. I think I remember getting this one. I want to say it was 2016, but I could be wrong. When I got it, I was thinking of just how that I can't take things personally when people change and situations change because God has a plan for us all. And you know, there's no need to get worked up about something that you can't change. That one hurt so, so bad. So freaking bad. The third tattoo I have are these doves here on my wrist. This was actually my very first tattoo that I've ever gotten. I was also, I want to say, 17 when I got them. I don't love where they are, but I do love what they mean. When I got them, I did it because there were three people in my life that had passed away, and the doves going up represent them flying up to heaven and being freed from all of the hurt all of the suffering. And every time people ask me about that one, they're like, what does it mean? And then I tell them and they're like, oh, I'm sorry I asked. But it's like, no, you don't have to be sorry. It's just, you know, it's reality. But I did get this one as a memory of the three people that um, I was referring to at the time who sailed up to heaven. Yeah. The fourth tattoo I have is my mom's first and middle name. I would be nothing, absolutely nothing without my mom. Everyone's like, well, everyone knows she's your mom, so why would you get it? because she's my freaking mom. When you don't have a father figure, which doesn't bother me, so don't think that it does, you, you have to have that one person in your life that you can always run to. She's my go-to, I tell her everything, even when I don't want to. So yeah, a fifth tattoo I have is EST. It means everyone stands together. Actually a reference from Machine Gun Kelly about how there's no racism. At the end of the day, everyone bleeds red, everyone has struggles, everyone is fighting for something. Okay, so one, two, three. I lost track. So the sixth tattoo that I have is this little 27 here. A little backstory on why people are confused that I got the number 27 tatted. When I was a freshman in high school, I dated this guy, and the day that we started dating was September 27th. It was one of the most toxic relationships of my entire life, um, but I am glad that it happened. I uh, hope he's doing well. I wish him nothing but the best. People at first thought it was like me trying to remember him and no. Ironically, it has become my lucky number. It has been there through all of the ups in my life, no matter what. Like, it just pops up all the time. I'm doing everything good. I think it's a gorgeous number, which is probably so weird to people, but to me, it's aesthetically pleasing, and I like it. So I got it. So the next tattoo I got is this airplane. Okay, so this was actually another Friday the 13th tattoo, it was supposed to be a really little rose. It looked so bad. It looked like a freaking ant. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted, but I got the plane as a cover-up. So this is actually a cover-up. And it kind of just reminds me to travel, not put work before everything in my life because I only have one life to live. It's just get on a plane, go, don't think twice. Life is so freaking short. There's so much more to see. There's so much more to life than the town that you're living in. Just freaking go. So for the next tattoo I have, um, it is this moon. I got this crescent moon because my cousin and my sister also had a crescent moon and we wanted to all kind of get like matching tattoos. Except they got theirs together, I got mine at a separate time. And yeah, I just wanted to fit in and I actually love it. Another tattoo I have is this 1997 on the back of my arm. Uh, again, really no crazy meaning to that. It's just 
the day that I was born, aesthetically pleasing. I'm gonna start showing this to people when they ID me. I have this tree. The detail on it is incredible. It's freaking gorgeous. I think this guy killed it. I've got So Will I tatted down my side. If you know the song So Will I by Hillsong United, then it's pretty much saying, if God can risk everything for us, then so will I. I will do everything I can to be a better person, to make better decisions. I will give you all of me because you've given me all of you. So will I is like a mutual understanding for me. I have always with two A's on my back. I kind of just got that one sporadically along with my spine tattoo. My name is spelled with two A's. I had someone in my life who meant the absolute world to me and the way that this person spelt always was with two a's to remind me that like i was special i was always a priority and it just stuck with me i've never had anybody uh, use my name in such a way that like it made me feel special you know i don't know if that makes sense just how it was spelled like really stuck with me this is one of the few things in my life that like have made me feel like wanted or special and so i always say I always have always, and I'm glad I do. So I've got this owl here on my shoulder that I got on Friday the 13th as well. Um, this has no meaning. Uh, he pretty much just said, if I could get it small enough to fit on a little note card, he tatted on me, and I did. I might get this one removed because it's farther over than I thought it was initially, but I do like the tattoo itself. I think it's really cute. So down my spine, it says, lead me where my trust is without borders. Hopefully you guys can see that. And that is another reference to um, Hillsong United. This line specifically that I got tatted on my spine is pretty much very self-explanatory. Lead me to a point in my life where I don't have to question if I'm good enough, if things are gonna work out, if this is supposed to be happening. Like I just want to just be able to trust with no limitations so yeah i think those are all my tattoos so hopefully i answered all of your questions i don't know if i'm gonna get any more tattoos i really might i really might not it just depends i kind of want to sleep kind of know my mom would kill me if i got one i hope you guys all got a little bit of an understanding of why i have these tattoos and what they mean to me hopefully people will stop asking i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm totally kidding i really don't mind when you guys ask i will tell these stories a million times as to why i got them dm me on instagram and show me your freaking tattoos i love learning about why people got what they got so yeah that is it for today's video i really really hope you guys enjoyed this tattoo tour it wasn't crazy it wasn't a sleeve but it's me i love my tattoos to death i'll talk to you guys later bye